Alright, what's going on, y'all, man? We're back here with another video. 2K just dropped patch 7. And the game's getting worse and worse in every patch. We're, what, three months into the game? And the game is dying out. Now, in the background, we got some post patch 7, my part gameplay. Two, by the way, 2K stole my clothes. I'm gonna have a clip of me spawning in. I lost all my, and, I, and I lost my clothes, man. I had my Michael Vick jersey on. I had my damn long sleeve. I had my, my bronze on. And they stole it from me, man. It took it, it took away from me, so it's all good in the hood though. But the first things first, I am playing with random, so I am messing up my record. So just to know that we got our ass beat. So if I don't show the whole gameplay, you guys know we got our ass off, okay? Anyways, I will link the uh, patch notes in the description box for you guys if you guys want to check it out. So and this bitch is yelling in my ear. So they said the update addresses several areas of the game, but one of the uh, more high-profile yet cosmetic updates comes in the way of player hairstyles. I don't want hairstyles. Fix your damn game. All right, a variety of players have had changes to their game, and those but Los Angeles Lakers rookie Lonzo Ball and Cleveland Keller, their roles are two of the most notable changes. Y'all worry about some damn hairstyles. I understand we want to look good and shit, but f fix the gameplay. I need to fix some shit, man. All right, so while these enhancements don't affect gameplay, it does enhance visual authenticity and immersion. So here's a breakdown of all the notes. Updated custom t-shirt uh, kiosk coming. Okay, this is the thing that... I want to address mostly if this is the chaos shit is this much of a problem take shot the game take it out y'all be doing these little secret updates and shit that's just remove the shit in fucking jungle man number two portland and san antonio courts have been updated to properly match their real world counterparts uh lonzo ball and other player hairstyles have been updated to match uh his new look fix a bug where a number of timeouts left indi indication on the score bug was resetting between quarters the correct amount of vc should now be displayed at the end of anti-up games fix the hang that occurred when finishing a mising game with spanish commentary enabled my player theme song will now be playing during the starting lineups when one is set Fix an issue where players 96 overall or higher would ha uh, would hang when the opposing team quits out of a pro am team arena arena game. When you lose a walk-on game, you will now be returned to the f uh, front of the walk-on building, rather than at the starting point in the neighborhood. Okay, this is one thing I also want to address about that pro am stuff. Okay, when you're in a squad, especially in walk-on, if you lose, you basically have to invite your whole squad all over again and have to join your session. Y'all make it to where if y'all lose and if y'all in the squad, y'all skid right in front of the pro am doors or at least restart us from the pro am, you know, in the walk on pro am gym to at least do that. Another thing, if it's a certain amount of people and y'all are dragging on waiting for one more person, y'all need to make it to where people can vote and say, hey, we're ready to play, we're ready to play. You know, it should be an option. Some people just want to play with maybe like two AIs. And I, I, I'm just saying, what's the next one? Uh, uh, defensive settings panel for OTFC will now function for AI players in program games. Fix an issue in GM slash my league where a trade that sent two way players to a team whose roster is full can result in one or more of those players disappearing from the league. All right, stay tuned for more updates. Okay, personally, I, I mean, they really didn't touch, they didn't address this zigzagging bullshit still, but you know, it's okay. And 2K, this is this is something I need to uh, patch eight. Hopefully, y'all, they need to address this shit. I want to handle them 20 patches. Get this shit right now, okay? Y'all quick, y'all, y'all quick to feed, be fresh, fat ass, but they're Reese's pups. I can't fix your game. Y'all need to do something about this, man. This shit ain't cool, man. Cause th this is the most I have played 2K since 2K12 or 2K10. 15, 16, and 17. I didn't put that much time and effort into that. I'm also playing Madden and stuff. So the fact that y'all can't get this shit right now is very disappointing, and I, I expected more from y'all because I give y'all a lot of credit. Madden is better than this shit. EA. I talk so much mad shit about EA, but right now, EA, I, I rather play an EA game than this, but I'm still gonna play this game because I actually enjoy basketball. I love the game of basketball. That, that's something that I will never forget. That this game here, and I, I mean, I put so much time in the park. I think this is like, like I said, most park games I have ever played ever is in this game. So y'all need, y'all need to put some, y'all put the one v one court in places where people are not even gonna fucking look. Come on, man. You can't even change. You can't even upgrade while you're sitting there waiting on the damn play part. You can't do none of that, man. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. The patch notes will be in the description box down below. Subscribe if you're new. I'm so mad as fuck. 2K took my clothes, though, man. 2K, y'all owe me some shit. I'll see you later. I'm out. Peace.